All right, welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. It is time now for a really important segment, Legally Speaking, with attorney Carol Thomas, who is with me, beside me. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Blake. Yes, thank you. Yes, we love to have you. And, of course, you always bring valuable information with you. So today we are talking about elder law, uh, state planning, and trust. So as an elder law attorney, attorney Thomas, can you uh, tell us about many interesting things that you see in your practice? Do I have all day? <laughs> I, I, I wish we could. <laughs> you know what I wanted to talk about today are some of the problems that I actually see people make. Yeah. And the biggest problem that I see, and unfortunately I see it daily, is with deeds. If someone owns a home, they have a deed to their home. But so often people add their children's names to the deed, and that can cause some very serious problems down the road. The other thing is a lot of lawyers do what's called a ladybird deed, where they add children's names on the deed when someone dies, but these cause huge mistakes. A trust is a much better way to go if you have a deed. Very good. And you know, what, first, what is the biggest mistake uh, besides that you see people make? Are there extra besides just adding children's name? Well, the other mistake is because people are not thinking about what happens if I need long-term care. So many people are focused when they talk about estate planning is what happens the day that I die. Mm -hmm. But as an elder law attorney, we really focus on what happens if there's an incapacity issue before you die. And unfortunately, do you know that 70% of people in this country will end up with some time in a nursing home? So it's something that they need to be prepared for. I did not know that. So, you know, thank you for sharing that for us. And other problems that you might see, you know, how can they make sure that they have the right information? Well, that's where I'd like to really um, talk about elder law attorneys. Okay. Estate planning attorneys are all over the place, mm -hmm. and estate planning attorneys basically talk about what happens the day that you die, and certainly that's important, but they don't cover the area as far as what if there is an incapacity issue, am I prepared to get things protected? Did you know, Blake, that for a married couple, if one spouse goes into a nursing home, we can protect all of their assets? So rather than paying $10,000 a month to the nursing home, mm -hmm. we can get that all saved. And it's just a wonderful thing we can do, but people need to get the documents done ahead of time in order to accomplish that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure I've heard before when we talk legally speaking that you're one of the few elder law attorneys in the state, right? Well, actually, there are only 18 certified elder law attorneys in the state, so I appreciate you saying that. Mm -hmm. But actually, my son, who's a lawyer in my office, he's certified. I'm not actually certified, but okay. I have 25 years experience in elder law. But as far as the actual elder law attorneys that specialize in nursing home planning, I don't believe there are more than about 30 in the state that actually do the elder law like we do. We actually, in my own office, I have five women that work in my Medicaid department. Yeah. And if someone goes into nursing home, we get my clients on Medicaid. Very good. Attorney Thomas, is there anything else that you would like to share with our viewers watching at home? I just want everyone to know, please don't wait Every day I have someone coming to my office, really every day, I never expected my husband, my parent would need long-term care. It's just, it's unexpected and I really wish people would be prepared. It's, it's a good thing and that's why we have the segment Legally Speaking, so you are prepared. Attorney Thomas, thank you so much again for coming in this morning. Thank you, Blake. Of course, and of course, at home, if you want more information, just head over to the hot links section at WNEM.com.